Hello everybody, welcome to We Biotonic. Don't forget your rose card dose with another super cool, super awesome, absolutely amazing session. Today's session, which I missed, I am sure it's going to be minus one and which I have attended, it's going to be plus four. Today is a very, very interesting, very important topic that we are going to be discussing today. Uh, respiratory system we have done there are certain topics which are very important and some topics are which are so uh, you know, important hote hai, but we have never seen a mirror image of these topics so what happens is when it comes in the question paper oh my good lord we are always confused we don't know what to do so to avoid confusion of these topics we have the Bohr versus the Haldane effect right in front of you in the form of a mirror image so all your confusion will go Chumantar. Right? Let's do that. Let's do the Bohr effect. Bohr effect says that there is a decrease in the oxygen affinity of a respiratory pigment. That means hemoglobin or oxygen ke beech mein ho gai hai kati. So if the hemoglobin starts to hate the oxygen, that is your Bohr effect. So the pigment is hemoglobin in response to decreased blood pH. Let me write this down for you. So in a RBC, jab CO2 water ke saath milega, which is going to happen in the tissue. See, I'm writing everything for you. It will produce H2CO3, which will give you H plus and HCO3 minus. Are you getting my point? Yes, and this is going to decrease the pH. Is that clear everybody? Therefore, my dearest children, when the pH is less tissues may, because of decreased pH, O2 will do cut to hemoglobin. That is called as Bohr effect. It was first described by Christian Bohr. It happens whenever carbon dioxide concentration increases in the blood. It occurs at the metabolizing tissues. That means in those parts of the body where metabolism is happening, O2 use ho raha hai. It describes the release of oxygen in the tissues. Unko oxygen ki zarurat hai aur hemoglobin waha pe oxygen release kar dega. Let's come to Haldane effect. Now it is releasing. There is release of O2 by hemoglobin in the tissues. But what you also need to realize my dearest children is that it needs to accept also na it needs to do katte ke baad friendship also na to friendship ke liye star bana lete hain with oxygen so whenever the carbon dioxide will be low and increased blood ph something which is happening in the lungs oxygen is more co2 is less so o2 and hemoglobin will form a bond this was discovered by a scientist called john scott haldane it says the release of co2 co2 will be exhaled out o2 will be grabbed by the hemoglobin and taken to the tissues so grabbing of oxygen and leaving of co2 haldane effect leaving of co2 and grabbing of uh, leaving of oxygen and grabbing of co2 bore effect very very simple Shall we aage badte hai? Let's do it. So, Bohr effect is effective under low blood pH of the tissues, under high blood pH of the lungs. This will happen in the tissues. It facilitates the release of oxygen at the metabolizing tissues, facilitate the binding of oxygen in the lungs. Is se zada simple nahi ho sakta tha Haldane effect or Bohr effect. Bohr effect tissues mein hota hai, oxygen is left. Haldane effect lungs mein hota hai, oxygen is grabbed. So simple. So this chart and this chart will clarify everything for you. Yes, this was Biobomb 16 and with the help of these two charts, we've clarified everything. And I hope you've really enjoyed this extremely important Biobomb on behalf of the entire team of We Biotonic. My dear kids, take care. Sayonara. Discuss this again and again with your family and friends so that you remember it because it's a hundred percent question. I got touches this could chew career, niggal jai or so jai. And tomorrow morning, Haldane effect and war effect will enter the subconscious mind. So, bye kids. See you in the next class. Bye bye.